Right now, we've got a potential newsmaker of a storm that could finally bring an end to this big couple years long snow drought for the I-95 corridor. Let's get right into it. Fox weather is your winter storm HQ. It's just two days into the new year and we are watching what could become the biggest snowstorm for the Northeast in almost two years. Certainly going back a couple of years, we set the bar nice and low last year. We had talked about this potential though. We've been talking about it for a couple of weeks now on Fox Weather Now, how the overall setup, the weather patterns were shifting and it would at least give us a shot. Well, here it is playing out in this first week of the new year. This is the track, roughly speaking, that we're expecting end of the week and through the weekend. You notice this area of low pressure, which does bring heavy rain to the Gulf Coast, places that badly need that rain, on a path to the eastern seaboard and then more east than north. This is important because the predominant storm track over the last several weeks, which has us at a bagel still for snow along the I-95 corridor, it's been these inside runner storms that bring a lot of their own warm air with them. This is not that, and we can show you that with future radar as we look ahead into the weekend. This is Saturday morning. You see all of this moisture, which will be rich, colliding with some of this cold air, which is in place at that point, already in place. That is an important change from where we've been with these last several mostly wet storms too. And then here we go. This is a Saturday night into Sunday event that we're tracking. There's the I-95 corridor. And yes, the line is sharp between a chilly rain wet snow and then the big snow that we're expecting and that line will shift as these forecast models windshield wiper a little bit but there is fairly good consensus already at least north and west of the i-95 corridor it's a big time snowstorm unlike what we've seen so far this year or last year for that matter this isn't the sunday evening now and yes places like philly new york certainly up to Boston. This is snow that's flying. This is what we're thinking for amounts. We're not putting exact numbers on this yet because as I mentioned, we know that that line is going to shift a bit and look how sharp that is right along the I-95 corridor. You go from light snow, you will see at worst some, some wet snowflakes. You move north of I-95, those pinks represent heavy snow amounts, perhaps up over half a foot or so a, a plowable snow that we're tracking. It's this line that we'll be watching overall, though, some good indications here that we've got our first snow on the way. If we can squeeze out an inch out of this, which depending on how that shifts, we could get considerably more than that. If that cold air is here in full force, that's what I was talking about. Baltimore, Philly, New York City, all almost 700 or more days since we've recorded one inch of snow. It is wild to even be talking about numbers like that. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.